Hello students, in this video we're going to determine the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix. In this case, we're going to obtain complex eigenvectors and complex eigenvalues. All right, so I'm going to once again use this nice formula I like to use where for a two by two system, the characteristic equation is lambda squared minus the trace of a lambda plus the determinant of a. So it looks like this. We have this equation here, a minus lambda i, and we take its determinant, we set it equal to zero, you could actually you know, expand this out, take this determinant, and you'll get lambda squared minus 16 lambda plus 80. As you see here, if I take the trace of A, that's 28 minus 12, I get 16 minus the trace of A is minus 16, so I put that there. If I take the determinant of A, I get 28 times 12, minus 12 is minus 336, minus a minus 8 times 52 is 8 times 52, which is 416. Three, minus 336 plus 416 is positive 80, so I put that positive 80 there. Now, if you want to try to determine the roots to this equation here, you'll, it's a quadratic equation, and we'll use the quadratic formula. And here's the work laid out for you. I just used the minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you get plus 8 plus or minus 4i. Those are your eigenvalues for this system. They will, when you have complex eigenvalues, they will always show up in what we call conjugate pairs. Conjugate pairs means if you get an 8 plus 4i, you'll get an 8 minus 4i. Now, we're going to determine what the eigenvectors of the system are. Remember we solved this homogeneous system, a minus lambda i times the eigenvector, which is equal to the zero vector. So, a minus lambda i, and I put the... Um, parentheses here to open parentheses. I'm going to choose one of these eigenvalues to place in here. And for simplicity, I'm going to pick, I always pick the plus, the a, you know, in this case, the A, I always pick the A plus BI. So I'm, in this case, I'm picking the 8 plus 4I. That way, I don't have to worry about double negatives and screwing up the signs. So if I do the simplification, 28 minus 8 is 20. I get a minus 12. Minus 8 is a minus 20 a minus 4i, and here we get a minus 4i. Okay, and everything else is the same. This system looks like this with the uh, augmented system looks like what I have here with this matrix, and I have zeros on the right-hand side. Now, the complex eigenvectors are always going to show up in conjugate pairs, and you know that this system should be, these, these rows are linearly dependent. So really, I only have to solve this top, this top equation, because you know, no matter what I do, I can always get zeros on this bottom row. We've seen that time and time again with other cases of the real distinct eigenve eigenvalue uh, vectors and the or eigenvalues and the real repeated eigenvalues. Um, it's going to be the same thing here. You can just zero out this bottom row. So I'm just going to ignore this bottom row and I'm just going to solve the top one. So when I do that, notice that you know this column corresponds to v1, this column corresponds to v2. So I have 20 minus 4i, and that's times v1 minus a times v2. So I'm going to need to solve for v1 and v2. I'm going to choose to solve for v2. That way I don't have to you know, divide by a 20 minus 4i. That can get a little bit messy. So here I just have to divide by an 8. So if I push to minus 8 v2 over, I have a positive 8. And then 20 over 8 is 5 halves, because 4 goes into 25 times, 4 goes into 8 two times and uh, 4 eighths is 1 half. So now I have v1 as a free variable, and I'm just going to pick v1 to v2 to make this con uh, convenient. You can pick anything you want for v1. You can pick it to v1 if you wanted to. You just can't pick it to be 0 because we don't want 0 eigen... can't have 0 eigenvectors. So I'm going to pick it... I'm going to pick v1 to v2 for convenience because when I distribute the 2, I just get 5... 5 halves times 2 is 5, minus 1 half times 2 is 1, so I just get 5 minus i for v2. That means my eigenvector will look like this. So the first eigenvector associated with 8 plus 4i, 
of a two-fifths here plus a zero i minus i, right, because there's a zero i up here. And so then I get two, the vector two, five plus the vector zero minus one i. So that's v1. You could have brought the minus sign out in front here if you wanted to. I just did it this way. And so that is the eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue 8 plus 4i. If I wanted to consider the eigenvalue 8 minus 4i, I would get the conjugate pair. That means I would get the same eigenvector, but I would have a minus in front of the complex term, in front of the imaginary term here. So it'd be 2, 5, minus 0, minus 1. And again, you could have brought the minus out here and then made this a plus because the minus and minus would have given you a plus. That's perfectly fine. This uh, this works. So um, this is how you can determine the eigenve eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix where the eigenvectors and eigenvalues are complex. Okay, good luck.